Welcome to JTech and Grow Troubleshoot IP Configuration 3. Welcome to this lab. So you can see the instructions here. While completing this lab, use the following IP addresses. We have been given all the IP addresses. It's very similar to IP troubleshoot IP configuration 2. Okay, we start from the first computer, the Office 1. We open Office 1 computer. We'll do it as quick as possible. We we'll go to the terminal admin. Let's start by pinging all the IP addresses 192 ping 192. We ping for COP server first 192.168.0.10. It wasn't successful, 100% loss. Ping. This one was successful. Office one pinging was successful. Remember, we are on Office one computer. Now we have to ping the executive computer 192.168. Dot zero dot three three of executive computer pinging was not successful. Let's see IT admin one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot three four. Oh, excuse me, I didn't put the ping command. In 192.168.0.34 This one also was not successful. So it shows this computer most likely doesn't communicate with any other network or any other computer device on the network. Uh, 198 Let's try to ping the ISP 198.28.2.254. This also was not successful. IP config. Let's check the information. We can see from here already we can most likely tell that the subnet mask the subnet mask might be the problem but let's see let's see the next thing we have to check here now let's see uh, Let's try to go to the IT admin computer. Let's see how it works there. Right click and go to terminal. Most likely it would be it would be the same ping cop server 192.168.0.10 this one was successful for the IT admin ping 192.168.0.30 successful ping 
192.168.0.33 successful we don't need to ping the computer itself so let's ping the ping the ISP address 198.28.2.254 and this was also successful which shows there is something different about this particular the IT admins network that's not there with the office one so let's do IP config and check Yeah, the subnet mask here it shows it's on class I think class C the default gateway they are all the same 192.168.0.5 but the subnet mask is different just take note of that then uh, next we have to okay we should answer the questions we've done for two what is the subnet mask for IT admin? So we, we can already see here 255.255.255.0. I'm trying to show you. It's right here. The subnet mask is right here. Okay. The next question says. What is the IP address for the first DNS server on IT admin? The IP address for the first DNS server. DNS, DNS server. IP address for one minute. We will have to run the IP config all. In that, we will be able to see all the details. Okay. So, this is the DNS server. I will zoom in. So, this is the DNS servers. We have this uh, the DNS servers so we have one the, the, the both DNS servers here they are asking for the first so the first is 192.168.0.11 for the first DNS server let's see the next question what is the subnet mask of office one I showed you already it's 255.255.255 255.240 we can verify that for office one excuse me let's minimize this office one subnet mask when we run the it config ip config so this is a subnet mask 255.255.255.240 so we answer that question what is the IP address for the first DNS server on Office One? To see that, we have to run IP config all. IP config all. DNS server. And. Uh, return it so we have just one here 168.128.78.78.108 dot so this is it. 
how is of of uh, how is office one obtaining its ip information how is office one obtaining its ip so guys why i was recording this i realized my voice my volume ceased from this point so i'm just doing a voiceover to guide through the remaining part so what is the most likely cause of the I, i'm not seeing my screen so well so you can see the ip configuration was not done correctly hopefully that's what is hitting there i'm just trying to give a guide through the remaining part of the video I realized my voice ceased after 10 minutes 10 seconds from the microphone I don't know why so to fix the problem we have just gone out to internet setting we go to network and network and uh, other, uh, internet so we have to from network and internet we go to advanced network setting advanced adapter uh, yes advanced network setting then we go to more adapters then Ethernet properties IP version 4 properties I hope this helps please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you so we have to configure the IP address automatically and the DNS automatically so you click on that only the automatic so let the network receive its IP address automatically and obtain its DNS automatically too. And that should be good. That will resolve the problem. So we go now to we go now to a terminal and try to ping the remaining the IP addresses that failed. We start with the IP address for COP server. Just zoom. refers to the IP config renew so the the adapter can obtain the new IP address automatically so we can see now that the subnet mask has changed so from there you go ahead and ping all the other IP addresses that failed and you will see that all of them were successful don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel thank you So you realize that now we can pin all the IP addresses without any issues. If you are facing any difficulties with any labs, you can drop a comment at the comment section. Or I'll drop my email. You can send a personal mail. So you can see that now we are able to ping all the other networks. And 
and I think we are good to go. You can score your love. 